Now I got the sealer on. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I walked right off the end of this scaffolding. But I recovered marvelously. Um, there is a little speck right in the middle of the roof that I got to deal with. And I see there's one right there, but I think that. I'm not sure what that is, but that's not in the paint, it's on top, so uh, I have to do a little work there. Get the big old fan going. Uh, so I got another half hour, 45 minute wait before I can uh, put the base coat on, but I do have to fix those couple spots and go over that tack rank to make sure that uh, there's nothing there. So. I'm going to do that next. I'm going to check that little spot right there. done for today. I've got a little more orange peel in the clear than I would like. So basically if you can't paint very well you should learn to wet sand real good. So I'm gonna have to do some wet sanding. There's some spots that are pretty fuzzy. Uh, but I do have three full coats, heavy coats, so I should have plenty of clear to sand on. That don't look too bad. But I definitely uh, a few little dirt spots you can see here and there in the clear. But that's what happens when you don't have a paint booth. Sometimes it even happens if you have a paint booth. But anyway, overall it's pretty decent. Um, it'll look a lot better when it's wet sanded and buffed out. So. I want a 5 footer, but right now I got about a 15 to 20 footer. So 
once I get her wet sanded and bobbed, hopefully I can achieve that five-footer that I'm looking for.